we're grilling some food on Labor, Labor Day. Day. And we're cooking some meats here on Labor, Labor Day. Day. And I'm catching squirrels and putting them on my grill because I'm fruity on Labor Day. Day. All right. It doesn't say it there, but unfortunately it has the, it has the chat, you know, kind of... Well, let me see if I can pull it down here. Let me see what we can do here. All right, something like that. All right, something like this. Anyway, thank you very much, all right, for pointing that out. All right, put the PC shot on. Uh, I do want to say, to put the PC shot on, for Christ's sake. Uh, once again, uh, Kits does a flip, hooked it up, and say, Hey, Ghost, happy Labor Day. Today is Labor Day on TCR. I take it uh, you're going to discuss Trump being pro-weed now since Kamala Harris is calling out the old man for flip-flopping. I feel that Harris should be also called out because of uh, the like of transgenderism. Uh, Harris also stated supporting it just to be like the Twitter leftist some more. Also, another thing that might count as totally useless news uh, but you heard it from Fat Man Scoop dying on... Per- By the way, uh, this Fat Man Scoop dying on stage, that was horrific. Uh, apparently, he was not vaccinated, so anybody that's trying to allude to that, I don't think that was the case. I just think that this guy had always had a little bit of a weight problem, and unfortunately, it caught up to him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so anyway, I, I, I do appreciate that. Uh, and also, what else did you say? Um, I found out about his death while if he was vaxxed, what I do know is that he had an energy drink. You know, uh, I know energy drinks are not good for you. What's your take on that? I uh, I have had some people in the inner circle, believe it or not, that have had, uh, you know, situations when it comes to energy drinks. And they have ended up in the hospital because of heart-related issues uh, and blood pressure-related issues. So I am not one who is a big promoter of energy drinks. If you really need energy, I think that there are other natural, uh, other natural assistance that you could use. <laughs> if you want my opinion, uh, here's our first text to speech hey, for the day. Glad you're streaming tonight. Of course, it's your need something to rub. Anyway, you probably get it. Maybe later you can buy me a drink. Yeah, just shut your stupid stinking salmon smelling hole. All right. Anyway, this is a free format show. I did somewhat plan for this show. Uh, but I kind of didn't. So we're going to kind of wing it here, all right? Now, the first thing I want to talk about since we are discussing, uh, you know, certain issues relating to the election, let's just go ahead and talk about the election now. And since Kitz does a flip, uh, since he wants to go ahead and bring this up, let's go ahead and bring this up. I'm going to go ahead and vote for the bill because, remember, he does reside in Florida in uh, (laughs) Mar-a-Lago. So he's been taking flack for that, all right? Hello, man killing the damned. I just got paid $683.85 for 15 days at working at the YMCA H's 6 to 12 camps as an intern. I will be able to donate to you once more again, and I will spend most of it on driving lessons so I can drive a car. Ellie's. Well, look at this. Somebody going out there making the most for themselves on this Labor Day. And cheers to you. Thank you very much, man. All right. Hope everything going good for you in that gig. Keep on capitalizing. Uh, But once again, I do want to reiterate that Trump flip-flopped on the abortion issue. Oh, great. We got Roxanne. Hi, Ghost. Hopefully you've had a good Labor Day. It wasn't bad. It's my 20th birthday today conveniently, so it's been a pretty nice day. Here's to a good show. Also... Could I get a rumble unban? Ah, Thanks. Jesus Christ. Foster I guess Pops. so, since it is uh, since it is your birthday, Rock's ass, and congratulations that you are 20 years old. Enjoy youth while you can, because once you're past 24, it all goes downhill from there, all right? All right, well, I, I take that back. I do believe that you have till 25 to wait, and when you're 25, I, I guess your insurance comes down nowadays, so... I guess you got that to look forward to, and then after that, it's pretty much downhill. All right, so, hey, happy birthday to you. All right, cheers to Rock's ass. Also, it is me, Denominator 4444. I forgot to sign in. Hey, cheers to Denominator, man. Cheers to you. Thank you very much, and I appreciate you sharing with us, you capitalizing on this Labor Day. So, cheers to you, man. 
All right, getting back to the election. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, Mega bing, Max. Bong, I don't think bong, you're banned, bong, dude. Bing, 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 I don't think bing, you're banned. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. I'll, I'll check again, dude, but I don't think you're banned, Mega Max, but I'll, tra- I'll check right now, all right? <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Have you seen what's been going on in Aurora, Colorado? Yeah. Where the fuck is the National Guard to put these filthy al- All right, I'm going to say something about that, okay? Since you're going to talk about that now, let me say something about that. I do not believe that the situation in Aurora, Colorado is as dangerous as they're anticipating. There's only one clip showing alleged thugs going into one apartment in some apartment complex, and I'm not too sure if it's been a whole damn takeover of... I don't think it's Nino Brown style taking over the Carter. All right, there is no other video evidence that I can find that suggests that this Aurora, Colorado apartment complex is completely taken over Nino Brown style from the movie New Jack City like he took over the Carter. I just don't see it, and I also don't see any evidence that suggests that the Hells Angels are going out there to do anything as well. I think this is one of these weird media hypes about nothing, if you want my personal opinion. Oh, Jesus. Here's an audio file, folks. Three, 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 oh, three, 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 type three, 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 and bust Jack's man from the sea. Oh, hey, come on, um, man. What is this crap, man? It's Labor Day. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, folks. I know this is Labor Day and all, but, you know, this is what I have to put up with, even on my serious show. Michael Scott, 1725 Slough Avenue, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Hey, no, skip that shit. Skip that shit. God damn it. I can wait to purchase a gun from Ghost Politics and snipe Kamala on. No, September no, 11. no, no, no. We're not fucking condoning that right there. You're a sick piece of trash. Listen, Ghost. My last name is not a slur. It's pronounced Nigro, like how Rock Ape was pronounced dead. I know this because all I am right. smart. Look, this is a Labor Day holiday here, all right? You guys are lucky that I'm sitting here trying to do a serious show, and y'all are trying to turn it around to be in some kind of troll ghost show shit, and I'll leave here very fast and go kick it in the True Capitalist Radio member chat, all right? And speaking of which, all right, I'm actually, and I was going to make this announcement today, but the folks in the True Capitalist Radio member chat wanted me to do a TCR, so I obliged, so I'm just going to make the announcement here, okay? Everybody who is a member of the True Capitalist Radio membership chat, all right, I'm going to make it an incentive here. At the end of this month, whoever is still a member, because we have over, I think it was almost 100 members. We're we're almost close to 100 members. Any of the members that are uh, paid members of the True Capitalist Radio member chat, I am going to give a collectible True Capitalist Radio card. I'm going to physically mail a collectible card, like a a trading card, of Ghost and other members of the show, and I'm going to be giving a card a month. A new tradable or, you know, the trading card of Ghost. I'm having them printed out right now as we speak. I'm having them printed out right now as we speak, and I'm going to be giving out a new card every month to each member as a perk of being a part of the True Capitalist Radio member chat. All right, I'm not even joking around. We're going to have one of yours truly. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, Mega Max, you're already on fucking muted, dude. All right, stop thinking that the black man invented the peanut and start focusing on technology of today. But anyway, as I was stating, I'm going to have a trading card coming out of yours truly. There's going to be one of the engineer. There's going to be one of... Uh, it's going to be... It's going to be cool. All right. One a month. I'm having one printed out, and I'm going to mail it to anybody in the True Capitalist Radio <laughs> member chat that, that wants to be. A specter is haunting Europe, Heathy specter of communism. Oh, All the powers of old Europe have entered into a holy alliance to exorcise this specter. Pope and Tsar, Metternich and Gizmo, French radicals and German police spies. 
I uh, have to agree with you a little bit there. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a, in a second, and thank you for bringing that up to our attention. And hold on, i got to get to some uh, rumble rants, because I've been, I, I've been kind of, my attention has been kind of swayed. Uh, we've got uh, Vox Artificial's Ghost. There's rumble premium ad overlap in the chat. We took care of that. Uh, Five Finger Prostate Punch, Four Skin Coin, also has a bit of a pullback as well. You're a sick bastard. And Vox Artificials, uh, you can also press X button to close the ad, Dad. Oh, thanks a lot. And we also got uh, we got another Rumble Rand here. Vox Artificials, uh, can't wait to ke- collect Ghost Mon cards. Well, they are going to be collectible. They're going to be printed out. They're going to be nice. You know, they're going to they're going to be glossy. You know what I'm saying? And there's there's going to be uh, one a month to every member that's a member of the True Capitalist Radio member chat. Uh, that's just one of the many perks of being a part of the True Capitalist Radio member chat. All right, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. And now that we got that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about elections 2024. Once again, Trump flip flops on abortion and then takes it back, and he flip flops again. Take a look at this. He is now pro marijuana. Gay nephew spotted https yeah, right. colon slash right. slash not, X tech. Hey, Kirk uh, Johnson, we're not doing that, all right? And secondly, you donated an obnoxious half-animated porno for the ghost show as a video. So you mean to tell me that you think that I'm going to go and, 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 and do your fucking job? Uh, fuck you. Excuse my French. And five-finger prostate punch, I'll give you your damn card. And Camaro RS09, hey, Ghost, I want to say thanks for the show. Like the one Dono said, I'm planning to get my license as well. Let's hope for the best and cheers. Well, I hope that you uh, not only get your license, but you're, you know, successful in your endeavors there, man. Cheers to you and cheers to everybody out there who's uh, who's out there trying to get uh, their thing, a thing going, whether it's driving, whether it's getting a new job, whether it's, uh, hey, cheers to all of you out there, man. Anyway, as I was stating, Trump is now flip-flopping. Aside from flip-flopping on the abortion issue, now all of a sudden he is pro-marijuana. Okay? Uh, Do not need to ruin lives. Trump now endorses legalizing marijuana in another Florida ballot flap. Is not any different (laughs) than Kamala Harris, all right? And I'm not showing it, dude. I'm sorry. You see, that's what happens, Kirk, all right? If this were the ghost show, I'd go and take a look at it. But you see, you pissed me off, all right? You donated some half-pornographic shit, and I don't trust you, so I ain't going to show it, all right? Fucking moron. And uh, Vox Artificials, oh, while you're at it, I'm going to get a forklift license. Well, cheers to you, Vox. Can you record some video of your dog Pinochet eating his poop? I need yeah. new material to goon over. Great. Yeah, you, you are a sick fucking piece of trash. Anyway, Vox, cheers to you, man. I'm glad you're moving on up on this Labor Day. I'm glad everybody right now is celebrating their their success on this Labor Day. All right? And speaking of which, you know, since we're talking about Labor Day, and I did discuss this on Twitter, let's go ahead and talk about that for a second, all right? I mean... <laughs> We all know. I buy that for a oh, dollar. Jesus Christ. Shout outs to the freaking panda, text to speech lady, dark meme magician girl, communists for Trump, Tennessee apostle, M. Cook, Eastern underscore time, Nico Angel 4558, Evil Miera, aesthetic, big capitalist daddy. All right, we get it. Waiting, we John get underscore it. Ballerie, 717, Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, 41. we get it. Anyway, Mega Max with the Rumble rant. Ghost hates female nudity. That's why he's a virgin loser. Okay, buddy. That's why I'm married, asshole. Where is the party in opposition that has not been decried as communistic by its opponents in power? Where the opposition that has not hurled back the branding reproach of communism against uh, the more advanced opposition parties? There's not many of them. It seems a lot communistic to me, you know, and all this shit. And the reason I bring this up is because I tweeted this earlier today. Take a look at this. For those celebrating Labor Day in America, should be reminded that more than half of America collects a government entitlement. And I decided to use Grok's AI statistics to show and break down how many people are collecting a fucking government entitlement. 71 million Americans rely on Social Security benefits. Incremental capacity... (laughs) 
But, I'd oh, buy Jesus. That for a Here dollar. we go. Happy Labor Day. It is high time that communists should openly, in the face of the whole world, publish their views, their aims, their tendencies, they do. and meet this nursery tale of the specter of communism with a manifesto of the party itself. Oh, give me a break. Anyway, look, if y'all want to see who's working in today's America, while there's 186 million people that are takers, all right? These are the people that are available in the employment sector. And look, I'm an employer, and I'll tell you firsthand, it is fucking horrible trying to hire people. People are such entitled pieces of shit, they think that they're just supposed to clock in, have their body hanging out, uh, you know, at at your location, and then clock out and do absolutely nothing. It's pathetic. This... Is your everyday American work ethic right here? Play this. Play. This is your American you can work get ethic. Right here. Can we ask you, man, this about is this? it right here. Expired at deli Denny's. Meat the at fucking Denny's. Were you serving expired deli meat, ma'am? Don't touch the camera. Don't put the camera in my face. Hey, we need to ask. You don't about need to be in my face. Call, 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 it's not uncommon to get the cold shoulder when questioning a restaurant about a failing inspection. Denny's on Panola Road in Lithonia scored 52 points in a U for unsatisfactory. The health inspector busted them for expired deli meat, flying insects, and raw eggs American on bacon and cheese. Ethic but right these here. violations pale in comparison to this violation of civility. You don't have to put the camera this on is the way. American yeah, worker it. right here, folks. Go ahead. So we're not going to discuss it. I'm not going to be in the village. So what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Get your hands, hey, get your hands hey, off me. Get your hands off me. Hey, hey, hey. 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 This is America. This is employees in America. Guys. Bye. Wow. Bye. So this is how you respond to violations. It's not the treatment even a news crew would expect from a place that calls itself America's Diner. And here's yeah, one whatever, of capitalist squirrel. My son right here, if you see Hold on. We're trying to watch a video here. To Karl Marx. Friedrich Engels, ah, fuck off. Vladimir Lenin, Joseph Stalin, Mao Zedong, Leon Trotsky. All a bunch of brutal Guevara, killers, by the way. Min, Fidel Castro, Rosa Luxemburg. All a bunch Antonio of brutal Gramsci, killers. Nikita Khrushchev, Pol Pot, Kim Il Sung, right, Joseph Bros Tito, Salvador Allende. Yeah, well, Salvador Allende got 9 11. All right, play it. Knock your ass out. And I'll f- you. Promise you that. Long live Pinochet! Right here, son. Don't do that! Cause I knock your ass hey, out! Hey, that's assault right there! I don't give a f- about son right here, you! Is that how you go, talk? Joey. Now, as you can see, folks, this is the American work ethic that I'm talking about. You know, I hear a lot of people talking about all oh, the immigrants. They're coming in. They're de- all these people. The, the reason that they're allowing immigrants in here is because we don't have enough people that want to work. I just made a statistical fact that 148 million people are taking from the entitlement system as opposed to 86 million people that are paying in to the tax system. And that is not going to compute. That cannot sustain itself. And that's why, in my opinion, uh, we have a situation that is uh, very dire in this country. And the fact is, is that we just don't have anybody that wants to work. To go to a bunch of lazy, entitled Americans who believe that, that they should just go ahead and be paid for doing absolutely nothing. All right, that's all there is to it. Hold on, put the PC shot on. Who's doing this? Okay, look, Mega Max, we unmuted you on Rumble. You should be fine, all right? And I'm not saying that cromulet, uh, the cromulet with a damn Rumble ran. I'm not saying that. And we've got Capitalist Squirrel. Ghost just described his own work ethic. That's why no shows a lot. Listen, I don't do this as a fucking career, all right? I'm not out here doing this every fucking day and streaming my life like 12 to 13 hours a day like these stupid IRL streamers, all right? I've got a business. I'm a respected man in my community, all right? I'm a businessman. I don't need to be known for being some fucking entertainment for tards, no pun intended to some of you people. All right. So anyway, it looks whoever the hell I'm not I'm not saying that name, but thank you for for buying the pot. Don't pause my neg hole song. All right. And trolley bastard Russia is better than the United States. Well, then get the hell out of here, dude. I'm sure you are reaping the benefits of living in America. I'm sure you're taking advantage of the Bill of Rights that accords you the right to say that. I, I bet you're taking advantage of it. And yet. Once I tell you to go to Russia, you're not going to do it. 
You're not going to do it. And Vox Artificial says the shekel count says otherwise. Hey, dude, I only do this, this show whenever I feel like it. All right? So, I mean, you got to figure that shit out on your own, dude. I'm not out here trying to be like, oh, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here every day. I'm, I'm not doing that shit. So go fuck yourselves. Now, since we're on this immigration topic, I'm not trying to say that the immigrants that are coming into this country are all positive. I mean, obviously, with any group of people, you're going to have your bad ones. You're going to have your side effects. And one of the side effects that we're seeing in New York City because of the immigration problem is hookers. I mean, I don't know if that's ever been really been a problem in, you know, New York City. I, I always thought New York City was known to just getting street whores. But anyway, take a look at this. Seedy New York City streets overrun with hookers and thieves, and it's getting worse with prostitutes doubling in two months. So, you know, for all you uh, for all you coomers out there, I guess apparently uh, Ho Avenue is back in business over there in New York City. So I'm telling you right now, and I don't know, they're not sending their best over here. I'm not trying to quote Trump, but, uh, you know, I've seen some better Latinas you know what I'm saying? I've, been, I've seen some better, you know, hot tamales out here. These look like some, well, I don't know. I, I, I can't see the face on that one, but that one doesn't look horrible. I mean, how much is that one? Anyway, okay, I never mind. Anyway, look, here you go. Here's some uh, photos of uh, the prostitution. Here is actually the black market that is happening on the sidewalks of New York City of many of the folks, not just immigrants. This is also including many of the, you know, uh, uh, American-born folks, let's just put it that way, stealing from corporate America in order to sell it on the side of the road. So that's what we're doing. An official shekel count, my shekel count says otherwise. The count is way over 1K. Dude, I, what are you fucking talking about? I make a few hundred bucks a show, dude. Get the fuck out of here. And Cornbread Man with a rumble rant. Happy Labor Day goes. Thoughts on Chase Check Glitch. I'm glad you brought that up because I'm going to talk about that as well since we're on this subject matter of criminalistic uh, prostitution, theft, crime, all that shit. And enemy extremists, there's basically no point in being an American citizen, I guess. Election in this country aren't real. Europe is better. Europe is better? What are you talking about, enemy extremists? They're about to collapse, in my opinion. And I'm talking about the European Union. They can't even get a uniform understanding of government over there in Europe. All right, I mean, they're about to implode from a whole bunch of situations. And what is this? Ghost drives a little tyke's cozy coupe. Yeah, whatever, all right? Anyway, just need to have guns to get rid of... Listen, enemy extremists, I mean, you talk... And this is Winston Fujimori. You talk as if... You are whiter than the German snow. Bro, you are also of Arabic descent. I mean, I just don't understand this. Why is it that the most racist, supposed Nazi LARPing white supremacists out here are not fucking white? Can somebody explain that to me? That's something that, you know, some journalist or some investigative journalist needs to look into because I just don't understand it, man. Uh, we got Mega Max, a hundred bucks. Uh, we know that's cap type X to doubt. Yeah, shut up. All right. But anyway, as we see here, all right, there's skin for sale in the city. This is the New York Post. All right, there. This is where we're. This is what's happening right now in New York City. All right, man. These are some fucking porkers, man. Jesus Christ. Where are the Where are these bitches eating? You know, I mean, didn't they just uh, trek it a thousand miles or some shit to get here? How the fuck are these people eating to get fat? That's why they're in America now. You see, in America, homeless people are obese. All right? Ho uh, fucking poor people are obese. So whenever I hear this idea that, oh, the po in America, we've got to go out and help the po in America. Let me tell you something. My ass bleeds for the po in America. All right? I don't feel sorry for anybody in this country. You have every opportunity to carve out your own existence in this country. We've got people killing themselves, literally trying to get into this country to take the opportunities that you fuckers take for granted. 
So my ass bleeds for the Poe in America. I don't give a fuck about the Poe in America. All right, how do you like that shit? Will you service my schmeckle? You go shove it up your goddamn clogged up colon pipe, all right? And I look, everybody's all shocked. Oh, my God, I cannot believe it. I can't believe he's saying that about the poll in America. Yeah, I said it. All right, here's an audio file while you're at it. What is this? Manifesto of the Communist Party. Oh, Jesus Christ. Marx and Friedrich Who Engels. gives a shit? Who gives a shit? The specter is haunting Europe. The specter oh, of communism. God. All the powers of old Europe have entered this into This is an audio file, folks. I'm sorry. The specter. Pope and Tsar, Metternich and Guizot. Great. French radicals and German police spies. Where is the party in opposition that has not been decried as communistic by its opponents in power? I'm sorry Where we're listening the to this. that has not hurled back the branding reproach of communism? I'm sorry we're listening to this. Some asshole parties, donated this, as all right? Well as against its reactionary adversaries. All right, some asshole donated that, all right? Uh, trolley bastard, how do you know... You're actually a Texan and not a Canadian like Vox. Because I'm, I'm from fucking Texas. What are you talking about? I was born and raised in Texas. I'm a Texan first, American second, boy. And Blade the Stellron Hunter, just judging by the pictures, pretty sure that them fat bitches are Colombians or Puerto Ricans. That's a very good point. They could be Puerto Ricans as well. I'm not, a, well, I shouldn't say that. All right? I'm not going to talk about my personal opinion about Puerto Ricans, all right? And Vox Artificial, true communist radio. Yeah, real funny. Anyway, here is the black market on the sidewalks of New York City. Uh, this was all the stuff that has been stolen out of the businesses out there. Uh, you got some Tim Timberlands. You got some Nike shoes. Jesus Christ, it's looking like a third world. Look at this. Look at this trash. Look at this trash. Hold on. Wait a minute. What is it? Enemy extremists. I showed you my DNA test. Yeah, like you believe that. I'm 0% Jewish, 3% Persian, 0.5% Re Lebanese, and the rest is Italian, British, Greek, Balkan, Serbia. I mean, Jesus Christ, were you cultivated in a European sperm shake? Are you fucking... Can, did you hear this? Hey, hey, I'm... I'm 3% Persian and 0.5% Lebanese, and the rest is Italian, British, Greek, Balkan, Slovenian, and Serb. How am I not white? Dude, you're a fucking... I'd buy that for a You're a dollar. Neapolitan ice cream. Not only is there a chance I'll be released thanks to prison reform, but they also filled the streets with prostitutes. Thanks, Democrats. You brought the glitch back to New York. Also, any chance I can be in the credits? Cheers. Uh, you're a fucking serial... Dude, anybody who donates is like some serial killer or mass murderer, I'm not gonna fucking put you in the credits, all right? Give me a break. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, I'd God. Buy that for a dollar. You're a colorful bunch. Movie Shadow, you're a colorful bunch. What the fuck does that mean? All right, what the fuck does that mean? Anyway, as I was stating, uh, we talked about earlier how Trump now, let's go back to Trump. All right, flip flopped on abortion, which is this right here. You know, after conservative criticism, Trump says he is. In the 80s and 90s of, of the prime conservative movement, anyone that had any kind of... I'd buy that for Jesus a Christ. When we're done, there won't be anything left. Yeah, great. Thank you. That's a horrible quote by Charles Manson. But anyway, as I was stating, if anyone had the views of Dennis Prager back in the conservative movement of the 80s and 90s, they would be ostracized. All right? They would be excommunicated from the party. All right? They're no longer a part of it. But hey, I mean, oh, I'd Jesus, here's right another, now. here's another audio file for heaven's sake. Two things result from this fact. What, One, the communist manifesto communism again? Is already acknowledged by all Who's donating this shit? Itself a power. Two. Who's donating this shit? The communists here, kick that spammer out of here. Of the whole world kick that fucking spammer out of here. Their aims, their tendencies, and meet this nursery tale of the specter of communism oh, with good a manifesto God. of the party itself. To this end, communists of various nationalities have assembled all right, in London. I'm sorry we're listening to this. Somebody donated this as an audio file. All right, folks. English, French, German, Italian, Flemish, and Danish. Who language. gives a shit about this crap? Anyway. <laughs> I'd buy that oh, for a good dollar. God. 
Banyak ass. We are all sick of that fucking. F we would take all right, WCC. That, we don't need. We don't need to hear that. We don't need to hear that shit. All right. <laughs> oh, good God. I like to pick my nose and rub the boogers on the underside of fire alarm handles. What? That way, if someone pulls it in an emergency, they get my dry boogers all over their hand. What the fuck Used kind of shit it is with that? Snigma, but I almost got caught. Oh, you made God. me do it. I made you do it. Look, dude, listen to me. This is a Labor Day show. All right? I'm trying to convey some actual substance out here to spark synapses in the brains of folks. And all I'm getting is a bunch of two-bit assholes who probably don't even labor anyway that are out there trying to screw my show by being some kind of troll terrorist, enema bag cleaning, cuckold connoisseur. Now, I'd appreciate if you trans-testicle turd burglars would step the fuck off, all right? Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, okay, as I was stating, Trump is making a complete ass out of the GOP. And I told you, even before the GOP primary, we needed somebody that was less polarizing and more centrist. And guess what? That's where the Democrats are trying to focus on now. Oh, my God. Dude, are you fucking... God? God? He thinks that God is out here giving him the power, all right, giving him the... <laughs> to, to fucking save the country. Why didn't you do it the last time, Trump? Why didn't you save the country the last time? Hold on. This better not be the fucking Communist Manifesto, you piece of shit. This better what? not... Bourgeois oh, and Jesus fucking Christ. Who's doing this shit? The history of all Who the fuck is donating a Communist fucked up manifesto? Who's struggles. doing this shit? Freeman and Slave, Patrician and Plebeian, Jesus Christ! Lord and Serf, Guildmaster and Journeyman... I'm sorry we're listening to this shit. And oppressed. But I'll tell you right now, if you keep this up, I'm out of here. Carried on All right? Uninterrupted, if you hidden, people continue to keep this crap up, I'm getting the hell out of here. Time ended, either in a revolutionary reconstitution of society at large, or in the common ruin of the contending... And Vox classes. Artificials, you're not beating the communist and allegation? Here? Fuck you, asshole. I'm not a fucking communist, all right? I fucking hate communists, and everybody out there knows that. Anyway... Trump believes that God is uh, anointed him to straighten out the country. And I ask once again, what happened the last time, Trump? What happened the last time that you were in office? Well, let's remind everybody what happened, all right? Let's remind everybody what happened when Trump was in office. And uh, let's just, let's just, just it's, it's, it's a brief 10 second clip highlighting <laughs> what the I hell has happened. What is it, Anonymous? <laughs> Did you see Ukraine is attacking Moscow with drones? Yes, I is did. Is Putin about to fall before the elections? Cheers for doing a show today. Yeah, I'm going to get to that in a minute, all right? But hey, now he's being so hypocritical that it's in a small time frame from one day to the next. Unfucking believable <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, dude, dollar. listen, I'm going to end this fucking show if, if you fuck you motherfucker. Clear of history, you goddamn motherfuckers. A complicated arrangement of society. You goddamn borders, motherfuckers. A manifold gradation of social rank. In ancient Rome. All right, dude. If y'all are going to continue knights, doing this, I don't even need to. I, why am I even here? In the Middle Ages. Why am I even fucking lords, here? Vassals, guild masters, journeymen, Jesus Christ. Sir. In almost all of these classes, I'm sorry we're listening to this, folks. All right. Gradations. Modern bourgeois society. That is hurry up! I don't have time to be listening to some commie bullshit. Has done away with class antagonisms. It has but established new classes, new conditions. And five finger prostate punch. Type three 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 to snipe Jag. Yeah, whatever, asshole. <laughs> I'd buy that for. And a here's dollar. Joseph Stalin. Hello, and ghost. Thank you for showing the true glory of the Usser on your show, oh True Communist God. Radio. Right. Also, is there any chance I could get a shout-out in your next anim? No! Fuck Joseph Stalin! And trolley bastard ghost equals dollar general Vosh. All right, dude, look, I, I think I'm going to end this fucking show if this is how it's going to be, all right? All right, but hey, I mean... You people want to, you know, worship a goddamn uh, cult of personality. Oh, yeah, by the way, are y'all uh, truth social investors by any chance? 
Uh, are, are you, uh, you know, Donald Trump media investors by any chance? Take a look at this. Trump's meme stock nosedives to records as executives abandon ship. So this guy did a pump and dump on you morons because he knew that you will buy anything. You will buy anything that this idiot shits out. I mean, he's already sold Trump Bibles. He's already sold Trump NFTs. He's already sold Trump shoes with him raising his fist, uh, you know, with blood coming. I mean, it's, it's fucking stupid. And Mega Max, I ain't doing radio graffiti today. Fuck you, dude. All right, I ain't doing radio graffiti. All right, as a matter of fact, I may just fucking end this show here in the next couple of minutes because you people make me fucking want to puke. All right, I'm not gonna sit here and 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 waste the rest of my Labor Day. All right, with you fucking people sitting here talking shit. And Colonel Transisco over there at the D Live, he hooked it up with a Ninja Gini. Do you buy Johnny Walker Blue Label at Specs? $246 a bottle is a lot to piss away. Hey, if you can't live rich, <laughs> Colonel Transisco, come on, Maine. You know what I mean? That's how you that's how you live lavish. You know what I mean? Anyway, once again, I hope you're not an investor in Trump media or in the truth social. And look, this was a major stock scheme, just like every other grift that Trump is doing. This whole campaign is a grift, all right? History reminder for the listeners. Ghost said COVID was a hoax made by the Democrats and still voted for Mr. Cult of Personality after he shut down the country. Ghost also said doing business with the Russians is good for America. I never fucking said that, you fucking idiot. You, you, what, you put that up right now on a clip. And donate that shit. Anytime I said Russia was good for America. Go fuck yourself, you fucking stupid. And who the fuck gives a shit about what you say, Gino? You're a fucking sick maniac that masturbates to fucking dirty diapers, you fucking sick piece of shit. All right, what are you fucking... I mean, we're supposed to take your fucking Canadian bacon ass serious? Are you fucking kidding me? You put about three or four fingers in your ass and gyrate it counterclockwise watching fucking faces of death. So go fuck off, fucking piece of shit. You know what? I'm, 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 I'm doing me right now. All right, where's my pipe? Where's my fucking pipe? Fucking piece of shit. I, I can't stand half of you fucking people, man. All right, I can't stand half of you people. I don't even know why you fucking listen to me. Fuck, especially you, Gino. I don't even fucking like you. You've been listening to me for years, and you're a fucking stupid fucking loser. All right, go fuck off. Go fuck off. And, and Tesla Cyberheart, why don't you go fuck off as well, you fucking stupid loser drunk? Jesus fucking Christ. I, I'm serious. I don't like most of you people. All right? I don't like most of you fucking people. What? Why are we even talking about this? This election is between Kamala and Trump, and Trump is the better choice. Oh, Period. Great. Why are you making arguments like Darius anyone else? has the superior choice uh, because, regardless of his issues. Because this fucking guy, Trump, has taken control of the party and has made us all look like idiots. And I'm not an idiot. And I'd rather kamikaze the fucking party right now and take over whatever's left as opposed to running with this fucking bullshit. And Vox Art Officials, we love you, Dad. Don't call me your fucking father, all right? I'm not your goddamn father. Don't call me fucking dad, you fucking piece of shit. Jesus Christ. I'd buy that for and a wh dollar. what is it, the pirate right? Yeah. Your ho ho and a bottle of rum. On me ship, we toast the best man. This Kelly Vic who gets the most swashbuckled in a day gets taken by deck, and then we all take turns making out with him. Then, the captain opens his anus for the banana. Alright, I have no idea what the hell that is. And Cromulet, a uh, flip flopping is easy. He said Russia won't do shit leading up to the invasion. Well, I said they'd be dumb to do shit, and as you can see, they're dumb now. As you see, did you hear Vladimir Putin today? I mean, I was going to get to this later, but Vladimir Putin is now all of a sudden saying, look, I, I will come to the peace table, but this has to happen. Yeah, that's what I thought, Vladimir Putin, you fucking piece of shit. All right? I hope he's fucking taken out before the election. I can tell you that. I hope fucking Vladimir Putin is no longer in existence before the election. I'd buy that for all right? dollar. That's, that's, what I, that's, what, that's what I'm thinking, all right? Anyway, uh, oh, by the way, uh, take a look at this. Since we're talking about evangelicals and Trump, did you hear what Trump said the other day? 
Trump audaciously claims he would have won California if, quote, Jesus was the vote counter. So this is where we're at right now, folks. This is the Republican Party. A guy who believes that God is... You know what? I'm, I'm out of here. You know what? Fuck you. I'm, I'm out of here. All right? I'm not doing radio graffiti. I'm not wasting my fucking Labor Day on you fucking losers. All right? I'm not doing it. Fuck all of you. I hope you all get cancer of the cock. Fuck all you people. I'm out of here. Fucking stupid. Enema bag cleaning, cuckold connoisseur having, Hillary Clinton bedpan changing, rusty trombone playing, Magic Johnson toilet licking, Dirty Sanchez loving, Cincinnati bow tie receiving pieces of fucking sphincter fingering shit. I'm out of here. Fuck all you people. Labor Day. And what can you do this holiday? Labor Day. Day. And what else is good for this day? Mustaches. Mustache rides. Day.